What is up guys? Welcome back and welcome to the channel. If you're new, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you like what I do here. And today, we're gonna talk about something you've never seen before. An F-150 with a stood up. Wow. Ha, I'm just kidding guys. So we're gonna be talking about the top five things you may have not known about your 2004 to 2008 F-150. And we're gonna jump right into it guys. So the very first thing is why I have my hood up. I wanna talk about this. A lot of people don't know this. So a lot of people rag on the 5.4 and rightly so, they do have a lot of issues. However, um, they, I mean, this truck has 170,000 miles on it with no major engine failures. That could change tomorrow, guys. But what I wanna talk about is that when the 5.4 was released, it actually had around the same, I think it had 300 horsepower is what it was rated, uh, the three valve, not the two valve. Three valve was rated at 300 horsepower and maybe 365 or 360 pounds of torque. I'll tell you what guys, I'm gonna throw the stats up like right here where I'm holding my hand. But anyway guys, if you didn't know, that was as much as Chevy's 6.0 liter when it came out. So this 5.4 was putting out as much horsepower and torque as Chevy's HD motor. And this came in all the F-150s. So that's something you probably didn't know. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump in to right here if you guys have a keypad. So we're gonna talk about a couple things. And one of these things I actually learned from you guys. So props up to y'all for actually knowing about your F-150. So if I put in my code and I press three, three, four, after I do my code, so da, 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 did my code, you press this button, it will unlock all the doors on the truck. So if you know you put in your code, it only unlocks your driver door. If you put in all your code and you press three, four after it, it will unlock all the doors. Also, a lot of people did not know if you take the last two buttons, listen, now my truck's locked. So you take and you can push those last two buttons and it will lock your truck. This works on Expeditions. Actually, as far as I know, it works on any vehicle with a keypad from Ford. But guys, that makes me want to jump into our next thing. As you can see, I have electric fans here and I have not had any issues out of the electric fans. However, I did have one issue where corrosion got on the terminal where this hooks up to the battery, where it gets its main power supply. So I had a little bit of corrosion there and that caused the fans to stop working. And that brings me into my next thing. These 5.4s uh, with the computer system on board can actually reduce engine power when they get too hot. Now my engine did not overheat a uh, red line. It did not blow a head gas. It did not have any issues of that sort. However, it got, I don't know, I'd say probably three quarters of the way on the temperature bar before I noticed it. And I noticed it because the engine chimed up and the computer chimed up and said, engine reduced power. And I noticed that the temperature was up. And so of course I cut the truck off, let it cool down, inspected my fans, found that there was an issue. But that's just something I thought that was wild because I did not know that these engines could do it. I've heard Chevys do it and I've only heard it really on the newer Chevys. However, that might be a common thing across all of them, but I bet you guys didn't know your F-150 could do it. So last thing I wanna talk about guys is actually gonna be on the inside of the truck. So. Let me just put my coat in. Beep, 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 beep. What? Look at that, guys. You got her done. Look at that. Three, four. Unlocks all your doors. So, guys, what I want to talk about, I want to jump in here real quick. Let me dig my keys out. All right, got my keys in. So, what we're going to be discussing right here is this. So, a lot of you have this, and you may not understand it. So, you know if you press info, you can run through all your, uh, you know, gauges. So, if we hit setup right here, we press reset. Look at that. It runs through its own little checklist. And a lot of you may have never played with setup. Uh, if this is a used truck for you, it's a truck that you uh, have not owned or maybe have owned for a long time. Uh, you may have never even noticed that. So, I mean, I know a lot of people, they just they just move through the gauges right there and that's all you got. You can also change things such as the auto door locks. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of that. And you can change if it reads uh, miles per hour, kilometers, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Uh, not really important to this. This is kind of common information, but if you can't find that, or if you didn't know that, down below, check it out. Um, or sorry, down right there, check it out. I bet you didn't know that on your 2004 to 2008 F-150, you can fit 35, 12, 50, 20s. Hey, I said it. Go check out my video. I'm gonna link it right up here, right up here, guys.
go click it or maybe sorry maybe it's right up here i bet you it's right there go click it guys but go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you learned something new today about your f-150 or just leave a like and subscribe if you like the truck that really helps me out uh i do a lot of work it doesn't seem like it but i do drive a ford so i do a lot of work on this truck i'm just messing with you guys i'm a ford guy i like i like the f-150s uh especially this one this has been one of my favorites um uh, that i've seen and that i've worked on but guys there are plenty of you guys that got some clean rigs out there but i just want to bring in today those five things you didn't know maybe six i don't know i can't remember i done lost count but guys please leave a like and subscribe if this video showed you something you didn't know about your f-150 um uh, if you knew all these things good job guys you're you're making sure that you find out everything about your vehicles and proud of that but go ahead and leave a like and subscribe down below and i'll catch you all in the next one peace